Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make some nice scenery with Terrigan. So let's get started. I have here open Terrigan, and this is just a blank new document, so you can see if I render preview. The terrain map right here is all black, which means it's going to be flat at the lowest level it can go. So what I'm going to start by doing is going to the terrain window, and I'm going to generate a terrain <clears throat> and you can play with the settings up the realism up the smoothing bring down the glaciation and canyonism this should create some nice hills and by making the features larger it should make everything a little more round with a little less water so let's go ahead and move the camera up to a high point and have it overlook everything. Render preview. You can see we have some nice tall mountains and canyons. Um, what I'm going to do now is go back to my terrain window and modify it. I want to turn this into rolling hills, kind of. <clears throat> so I'm just going to bring the height from negative 300 to 200 and set height and range. Let's render preview again. You'll see that over here in the terrain landscape window, it's a lot smoother looking. There we go, that's that's pretty good. Uh, next what I'm going to do is go to the water, uh, sorry, not the water, the surface window which is oh it's over here, over here it's the terrain one and you can see if I double click on the surface map you have your basic surface map I'm going to turn down the bumpiness and watch what happens smooth out a lot it's more of the effect I'm looking for and I'm going to move the camera again this time down into a valley and see how that looks that's a pretty cool effect but that's not exactly what I want, so I'm just going to play with this a little bit until I find exactly what I want. If you get too close to the end, you'll see that you can see the edge of the map. You kind of don't want that. Uh, that didn't work. Yeah, you can see right back there that little black bit. That's the edge of the map. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm looking towards the center. And eventually I'll get the right position. There we go. That's pretty good looking. That's what I like. So next, what I'm going to do is create, back in the landscape window, a new child. And you can see when I have that child selected, it will automatically refresh this surface layer editor so you don't have to close it each time. I'm just going to rename that to uh, high ground. And what I'm going to do is, again, uh, actually, let's, let's do cliff face. So let's keep it pretty bumpy and go to advanced distribution and bring the coverage up, the fractal noise up, and the min slope and the max slope. Let's give it both of there. Actually let's take out the max slope because we want it only on steep surfaces. And now you can see that it'll only be on surfaces as steep as this red line right here. So I'm just going to render preview, and there shouldn't be too many in this map, it's pretty shallow, but that just accounts for everything, and actually you can see the coverage is almost nothing. I'm going to bring down the slope a little bit. More. There we go, that should be good. Mm -hmm. Now you can see a little bit of change in there, and I'm going to add a sibling and call this one 
grass and edit the color and make it dark grass. Click OK. Click turn down the bump, bump, bumpiness, turn up the coverage, turn down the fractal noise. Actually, I'm going to turn up the bumpiness a little more. Make the max, give it, keep it with the max slope and make it pretty fuzzy. And let's render a preview, see how this turns out. Okay, we got a little bit of grass going in there. Turn down the fuzziness a little more. Try that. There we go, got some nice green. And I'm just going to add another sibling and make it light grass. Change the color to light grass. And these are just presets. You can change the color to whatever you want with the sliders. And turn up the fractal noise and the coverage, fuzziness. And let's see how that looks. Oh, there we go. Now we have some nice grass coverage. And maybe I'll turn down the fractal noise a little bit. See how that looks. That's pretty smooth. Cool. And on the cliff face, you know what? It's just not steep enough to matter, so I'm just going to call this high ground, just like before. And I'll change the color to dark earth. And instead of a max and a min slope, I'm going to give it a max altitude. Uh, sorry, a min altitude of negative 50. Negative 50. Negative 60. It's just sort of playing with these settings. Yeah, that'll do. Um, bring down the fractal noise a bit. Turn to the preview. So most of this is really just playing around. I mean, that's all there is to it. Sometimes it can take a while. Bring up the coverage a little bit. Hmm. What's the problem here? Oh, you know what it is? It's that it's below the... No, it's above. I'll turn down the light grass a little bit. Bring down the coverage. Actually give it a max altitude of 100. And let's see how that looks. There we go, that's looking a bit better. I'm gonna do a full render to screen and you can see the width is 640 by 480. And let's see how this turns out looking out. It's looking like, not bad. It'll be smoother when it's done rendering.